Hello, in this video tutorial, you are going to learn how to configure HTTP redirect in iOS 8 on Windows Server 2012 by Sachin Sami powered by tech.pdcrest.com. Okay, let's log on to Windows Server 2012 machine with administrative right. Let me type down my very secret password. Okay. Hit enter. As usual, the server manager will automatically open. Let's go to tools and click on internet information service. Okay, expand the server node, expand the sites, here you will see two websites which I have already configured for this tutorial. Now one is old.ptgrass.com and the second one is new.ptgrass.com. I have also uploaded these sites to Google Docs. So if you want to complete this tutorial, you can go ahead and download these two sites from this link. I have given this link at the description of this video. Okay, now what we are going to do, we are going to redirect old.ptcrest.com to new.ptcrest.com. Okay, so let's click on old.ptcrest.com and browse the website and let's check it out what's inside. Okay, this is the website that is old.ptcrest.com. Okay, now let's click on sales and marketing. As you can see, this is the folder sales and marketing and this is a default page for this sales and marketing folder that is default.aspx. As usual, same thing, accounts department that is a folder and default.aspx that is a page. Okay, close the internet explorer. Now we are back on IS, on to the new site that is new.ptcrash.com, click on browse. And here we are. This is our new website that is new.ptcrash.com. As you can see the domain name, that is basically a subdomain new.ptcrash.com. Okay, let's click on sales and marketing. Here you can see the full URL and the content inside the page. Same thing on the accounts department. Okay. So let's close the Internet Explorer. Now we are back on IS. Select old.ptcrash.com. Okay. Here you can see the HTTP redirect module, there is HTTP redirect and this is the site old.ptcrest.com. Let's double click on HTTP redirect. This brings up the HTTP redirect interface. Use this feature to specify rule for redirecting incoming request to another file or URL. Okay. Redirect request to this destination. Let's select this checkbox and type the URL of the new website. Now in our case, we are going to type HTTP colon double slash new dot dot com. Okay, so this is our new website. And whenever the request comes for old dot dot com, it will be redirect to new dot dot com, which you will see in a moment. So this is new dot dot com. Now let's click on apply. Okay. The changes have been successfully saved. Now let's minimize the IS. Okay. Open Internet Explorer and let's type it down old.ptgrass.com. Just hold on for a second. Okay. Now hit enter. And as you can see, the URL has been changed to new.ptcrest.com. So the old.ptcrest.com has been redirected to new.ptcrest.com. As you can see the pages. Now let me type old over here and let's copy it. Okay, control C. Now let's close the Internet Explorer. Let's open it again. Let's paste the URL which I have copied and let's hit enter. Okay. As you can see, I have been redirected to new.ptcrest.com. Let's click on home and let's clear the cookies from the Internet Explorer. Okay. Let's go to settings, click on internet options, delete and click on delete apply ok close this 
now back on IS. Now let's see other options of HTTP redirect. Okay. Now we are on redirect behavior. The first option over here we have redirect all requests to exact destination instead of relative to destination. Okay. Let's click on this checkbox and click on apply. All the changes has been saved successfully. Now let's minimize this. And let's once again open Internet Explorer. On the Internet Explorer, let's paste the URL which we have copied earlier. Just hold on for a second, right click and click on paste. Here you can see old.ptcrest.com sales and marketing and the default page. Let's hit enter. Okay. As you can see, it has been redirected me to the exact location which I have given over the HTTP redirect module. That is new.ptcrest.com instead of relative to that destination which was sales and marketing slash default.aspx now let's clear the cookies of the internet explorer and close the internet explorer once again let's open is okay uncheck the box which says redirect all requests to the exact destination okay click on old.ptcrest.com restart the website okay and now let's minimize the is and let's go back on to the internet explorer I'm going to paste the URL which we have earlier copied that is old.ptcrest.com slash sales and marketing and the page is default.aspx. Let's hit enter and let's check it out. What happens as you can see now the request is redirected to relative of the destination path which is sales and marketing slash default.aspx. Okay. Close the internet explorer and open IS. Now we are going to select the second option which is only redirect requests to content in this directory, not sub directories. Let's select it. Okay. Click on apply. Select old.ptcrest.com and restart the website. Okay. Minimize IS and once again open Internet Explorer. Go to Internet Options and click on delete. This will clear all the temporary files, cookies, histories and etc. So now I'm going to paste the URL which we have earlier copied. Okay. So let's click on paste and that is all.ptcrist.com slash sales slash default.aspx. Now let's see what happens when I hit enter. As you can see, it has not redirected me to anywhere. If you see the URL that is all.ptcrist.com slash sales and marketing slash default.aspx. That is the full path. Now I'm going to remove this that is sales and marketing and hit enter and let's see what happens. Okay. Now you can see old.ptcrest.com has been redirected to new.ptcrest.com because we have selected the second option. Let me show you once again. Let's paste the URL that is old.ptcrest.com sales and marketing slash default.aspx. Let's hit enter. Okay. As you can see, this has not been redirected. Now, once again, let's remove sales and marketing slash default.aspx. Hit enter and that redirects me to new.ptcrest.com. So let's close this once again and open IIS. Okay on to old.ptcrest.com website HTTP redirect module here you can see the last one that is status code now there are three types of status codes are available it is important that you select the correct status code when you are configuring the HTTP redirect if you don't configure the status code correctly it can affect the search engine ranking of your website now 302 means the resource is temporarily located in different location but any future attempts to access the resource should still be go to the same original location. Now let's check it out the second status code, which is 301 permanent redirect. Okay. Let's select this one. This type of redirect signals that the resource has been permanently moved and that any future attempts to access it should be directed to the location specified in the header. Now let's check it out the third status code, which is 307 temporarily. Okay. The temporary redirect option is used to prevent a web browser from losing data when the browser issues an HTTP POST request. Normally when a web browser issues a POST request and then receives a 302 object move redirect message from the web server, the browser issues a GET request for the new location and loses the data in the POST request. With 307 redirect, the browser reissues the POST request with the original data to the new location. Okay. So we are going to select permanent redirect that will be 301 and apply. Select the website that is old.pdk.com and click on browse. 
and as you can see over here it has been redirected to new.btechrush.com let's close internet explorer close the is hello friends thank you for watching our this video tutorial if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to receive an email update whenever we post a new video share it with your technical it friends if you are facing any technical problem or have any suggestions post your comment here or catch me on google plus g talk facebook twitter and skype this video tutorial is presented by Sachin Sammy powered by tech.pirakrise.com.